Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to my kitchen because today I'm sharing with you what I ate in a few days because I started filming what I eat in a week and just didn't get around to finishing it. So this is what I ate in four days and a lot of these recipes I've made again since and have been really loving so I just had to share them with you and I hope that you guys enjoy it. But before we get to cooking, I want to give a thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Thrive Market. If you're not familiar, Thrive Market is an online membership-based market with a mission to make healthy eating and living more accessible and affordable. This is everything that I ordered this week from Thrive, and I love that they have all of my favorite brands like Primal Kitchen, Go Macro, and Jovial, but for better prices than in-person health food stores because they work with these brands directly. And all orders over $49 are shipped free with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. You can also shop by different values and lifestyles on the Thrive Market website, like vegan, gluten-free, keto, fair trade certified, and more which makes it so much easier to shop if you have a specific lifestyle like myself and every paid membership sponsors a free one for a low-income family. If you're interested in joining Thrive Market today, go to thrivemarket.com slash lindsayram for 25% off your first order and a free gift. And now on to day one of what I ate. For breakfast, this was a lazy one. I just made a gluten-free everything bagel from Trader Joe's. I keep these in the freezer. Topped it with some avocado and everything but the bagel seasoning never disappoints. And then I had a glass of water because I have been trying to lay off the caffeine. It just really does not mesh with my stomach or my anxiety, but I doubt this will last for long. On the go, I had a Go Macro bar. This is my favorite flavor. As you saw earlier, I buy them in bulk. Then my friend Claire and I tried these new Siete kettle chips that are made with avocado oil, and they are super good. For lunch, I made a pasta salad with these gluten-free shells from Jovial, and this was probably my favorite recipe from this entire video. While the pasta was boiling, I quartered all of my cherry tomatoes and sliced up my green olives. Then I just rinsed the pasta. You can also put it in the fridge, just depends how much time you have, and started to add my toppings. Next, I used about a fourth a cup of my favorite olive oil. This is the Brightland Alive Oil and about two tablespoons of their balsamic vinegar to cut the sweetness of all the tomatoes. Don't forget to salt and pepper and then add as much vegan feta cheese as your heart desires. I think I used about half of the tub here and I also had some fresh basil, so I added that as well. But this salad is super versatile. You can really add or remove the things you don't like and make it yours. This was tasty and it kept well in the fridge for like four days. For dinner, I wanted something pretty simple, so I marinated some tempeh in this ginger miso sauce that I bought, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. The flavor isn't that strong and it would have been easier to make it at home. It was just one of those corners that I cut that I shouldn't have. While that was marinating, I made some jasmine rice in my rice cooker and also chopped up some veggies to just steam to have on the side. On occasion, I feel like steamed veggies, so I just used the always pan and the steamer basket, which is like easily the most convenient factor about this pan, but then I cleaned it out and used it to saute my tempeh, and you can tell that it does stick quite a bit. Some of the non-stick has started to wear off for me, but there you have it. I added more sauce, some tamari, some sesame seeds, and it wasn't bad. I just probably wouldn't buy that sauce again. I would make it from scratch. Day two, I believe was a weekend because I was craving breakfast potatoes. And so the way I do this is quarter them and soak them in water for about 15 to 20 minutes to remove most of the starch. Then dry them off and toss them with some avocado oil, paprika, chipotle powder, that was a little too much, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and give it a nice mix. You can cook these in the oven or the air fryer, which is what I did for about 20 minutes on 375. While that was cooking, I made some super easy tofu scramble and heated up a gluten-free mission tortilla to attempt to make a breakfast burrito, but this tortilla is in between a taco and a burrito size, so you are gonna see me struggle to eat this. Flavor combos, 10 out of 10. Messiness, zero out of 10. 
For lunch, I had leftover pasta salad as well as a Brew Doctor Island Mango Kombucha, which is one of my current faves. Then I had a friend come over and made us a little charcuterie plate and basically just ate that for dinner until like 10 p.m. Just like kept eating hummus and snacks. So that was my meal. Happens sometimes. Day three, I made breakfast tacos with my leftovers from the morning before, but I also made some soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. I've been so intimidated to make this because it just looks so realistic, but it's honestly very easy and it tasted great. And these tortillas are much better suited for breakfast tacos than burritos. We'll totally make this again. For lunch, I made a sandwich with a California veggie burger and a ton of great toppings. I used the Trader Joe's bread, which is like comically small as you can see here, but I topped that with avocado, hummus, romaine, pickles, and the veggie burger, along with some spicy brown mustard. And although small, this was very tasty. Please let me know if you know of any normal sized gluten-free bread in the comments. I also had a health aid kombucha. This is the passion fruit tangerine. Then I started to prep dinner, but honestly just didn't feel like cooking. So I ended up ordering some veggie pho from this new place to me called Nong LA. And it was so good. The bowl, as you can see, is huge. I had to eat it out of a salad bowl and it was just what I needed. On to day four, I made some gluten-free blueberry pancakes with the mix that I got on Thrive Market. This is so easy and I just love blueberry pancakes. So I highly recommend this mix if you are looking for one that is gluten-free and I topped mine with oat butter and some maple syrup. For lunch, I grabbed a vegan Caesar salad from Erwan because I was on the go and I love this one. It has seasoned tempeh and if you're someone that has dietary needs that are pretty specific, Erwan is amazing. Then Claire came over to celebrate passing an exam. So we had some ginger beer with lime, which is basically like a virgin Moscow mule. For dinner, I made a Trader Joe's cauliflower pizza crust and topped it with mushrooms, green olives, artichoke hearts and Miyoko's mozzarella. This mozzarella paired with the Rao's pizza sauce honestly tastes like something you would get at a restaurant. I spent a lot of my childhood eating artichoke pizza, so it's like a weirdly nostalgic meal for me and also super easy to make. If you haven't tried artichokes on pizza, you definitely have to and let me know what you think. But that is what I ate for dinner and for dessert, I had an oatmeal raisin cookie that I got earlier at Air One. So yeah, that is everything that I ate in a few days of my life. I will have all of the recipe information in the description box. And if you're interested in trying out Thrive Market as well, join today and you can get 25% off your first order and a free gift. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash and I will see you all with some new content very soon. Bye guys.